But in this episode, I'd like to write one UDP client too, which can you know simulate the Netcat running over the UDP mode. The module, the major module I will use in this script would be socket. So let's just get started. We can import socket module. And next, we can import sys、uh, module, which can capture the user input. And I think、uh, we do not need anything else. Yeah, again, I'd like to use the object-oriented programming method. So we can use class my UDP client. And we need to define the method for this class. The first one, as always, would be init method. At this at this moment, I just use the keyword of a pass. And we can come to this block later. Define the run method. Similarly, I just use the keyword pass. You know, for me, my habit is firstly to construct the struct structure or construct the the major structure of the code, and then go deeper. I mean, write detailed code for each part. Next, we can check the name. Valuable or attribute. If it is, then we can yeah we will run the following code. We can create the instance of my own class, and then this instance or object has method run. All right, now we go back to the class. First of all, we can capture the user input. And we can make judgment if length six is less than three. We can print the message, the error message. Please specify the target and the port number to connect, connect to. And then we can exit from the program. Otherwise, we can capture the target and save it into the attribute of target sys one and the port number port. Of course, we need to convert to the integer. All right. However. If the user specify the or use the wrong data type for the port number, this will yeah will lead to the error. So for us, we can capture such exceptions or handle such exception. We can use try and accept. We can print out please. Use integer as port number, and then we can exit from the program, right? Okay. Now, what else we yeah can do in this init method? We we can create instance of the socket client socket module. Of course, the first parameter shall be the address farm family. In this case, should be IP four, right? Socket AF rather than Annet six, and then we need to specify the transport layer. In this case, will be the UTP. It means that the SOC diagram. Okay. So I think also you can print some message. For example, here we can write or print out 
connecting to the target, and we can port number self target port number. All right. So now let's move on to the wrong method. First of all, we can use try and accept to capture or handle exception. And we can install the detailed error message into the E variable. And we can print out like uh, error happened. And we can print out detailed error message for debugging. And then we can exit this program. Next, yeah, we because we will simulate the Netcat client, which communicate to, to the server. For example, can send and receive a message to the target or from from and to the target. So we can use the loop while true, and we can input data. We allow user input some data or message to be sent. And then we can send to the target because we are client. And then the first, the, the direction should be from the client to the server. Server has been listening on the target remotely, right? So next we can use self client sent to, and the first should be message. And this message should be encoded, encode UTF at, and then followed by the tuple the first element in this tuple should be target, self, target, and port number. Next, we can receive data. Receive data. However, of course, if the user input exit, if input exit, it means that the user want to exit from the program. Then we can use break, break from the loop. Then we can receive the data, receive, received data. And we can use the self client receive from, receive from. Yeah, we need to get, we'll return the tuple. The first uh, element should be data, right? And then second one would be address. Okay, so we can use the tuple to receive the address info. Next, we can, yeah, we can print print out the message, print received from address info here we can use the delimiter n, and then we can print the data itself. 
However, we need to decode All right, and if we yeah finally we can close close this socket self client close all right and we can remove some additional blank lines okay so next we can test this code to see whether this code is properly okay work is working properly will be working properly sorry about that we can save yeah i have i i will use the meta sprite to set up the the server and the IP address is this one, 157. All right, next uh, seven. So now we can use the Python, Python 3, and the UTP client, and the port number should be 555. Let's press enter. As you can see, connecting to the stage, and we can, for example, hello, hello happens, receive from, takes at least one argument. All right, so now we go back to the receive from. I think there's some error for this function. We need some buffer size, for example, one thousand and twenty-four. Now we let's maybe I need to make sure the. Okay, we can. Run this. Another cut again. Now go back to. Our Kali Linux, and run this client again. Hello, I'm Jason. Press enter. If you go to the meta sprite, as you can see, I have already received the message. And now we can, you're welcome. Now we go back to the Linux to see whether we have the, yeah, received the data, right? So it's working. If you input exit, this program will be broken, will exit from the program. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'd like to see you in the next one. Bye. Have a nice day.